Hey, what is going on guys? It's Dunk here and today I'm back in our Fortnite video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys some very good exponential settings that you guys should try out. So if you guys are looking for some very good exponential settings to use, maybe just looking for a simple setting change, I'm going to show you guys some very good exponential settings that I would recommend for you guys that I think are going to be very good for those of you guys who are looking for some exponential settings. And real quick, before we get into the video, I have a V-Buck giveaway. I give away V-Bucks every single Friday here on this channel. So if you guys want to enter that giveaway and win a chance to win 2,000 free V-Bucks, all you guys have to do is to drop a like on this video. Make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure you guys do turn on those post notifications so you guys get notified for every single new video. And lastly, comment down below either your Xbox gamer tag, your PSN gamer tag, or Epic account, and you guys will be automatically entered into the next giveaway. And also, if you guys like to support me in the Atom Shop, all you guys have to do is go down to the bottom, click on support a creator, type in my code. My creator code is Young Humor, and you guys will have me added and supported as a creator. And all right, guys, let's get right to the video. Alright, so in this video, I wanted to give you guys some very good exponential settings to try out. So if you guys are looking to, for some very good exponential settings, I believe that the settings I'm going to show you guys in this video are very good. Now, the reason why you may want to play exponential is maybe you've been playing linear for a little bit and not a fan of linear. Maybe you already put an exponential and just looking for some very good updated settings. Or maybe you guys do like the legacy feel more of the game as opposed to the linear feel. So I want to be showing you guys some very good exponential settings to try out so here going into my settings I'm gonna be going over to the controller options and so here are going to be the exponential settings that I really that I was trying out for the past couple days and I really did like I think they were very very good settings so obviously the first thing you want to do is 100% always turn on vibration it helps your aim be a lot more consistent so you want to turn that off so going down to my build sensitivity multiplier and my edit mode sensitivity multiplier 1.8 and a 1.9 and then for my advanced look sensitivity I have a 55% on both because I did a poll just a couple days ago or no it was actually about a week or maybe it was like two weeks ago I can't remember but I did a poll and it seems like most of you guys actually think it was like 70 to 80 percent of you guys actually did prefer to play on higher sensitivity than lower sensitivity so these sensitivity settings are going to be a little bit more towards the higher range obviously it's not like a 60 70 or 80 but a 55 is definitely on the little bit higher end as opposed to i would consider like a lower sensitivity like a 45 maybe 46 or 47 for exponential so i think in like the mid 50s are going to be the sensitivity that's a little bit a little bit on the fast end but not too fast so if you guys feel like high sensitivity i feel like this is going to be a good option obviously you i would recommend anything between if you like high sensitivity anything between maybe like a 50 percent and maybe up to like a 58 percent for your x and y horizontal and vertical sensitivity so this sensitivity i really do like i think it's very good for you for those of you guys who like a little bit higher but if you like, do like low sensitivity you can move it down to maybe like a 48 or 49 percent so going into my ADS sensitivity, I have a 13% on both, I believe, on my linear settings. I have pretty much the exact same ADS sens uh, sensitivity, but sometimes I do move it down to like 11 or maybe a 10%, depending if my aim feels really bad, and I maybe want to lower it to be a little bit more accurate. So I feel like with all these settings, I think everything in the settings is a good mix. So you have the lower ADS sensitivity, so it really prioritizes the range, which is going to be very, very important for you guys, especially if you're playing on exponential settings. You're going to be focusing on long range fights a lot more. So having about a 13%, I feel like is very good from range. I'm able to lock on a lot quicker being on a little bit lower than opposed maybe like a 15 or 16 percent i do like the x and y sensitivity being a little bit higher than 55 percent meaning that you're going to be able to hit flick shots a little bit easier because you can turn faster than before and i do like having the 1.8 building and the 1.9 editing pretty much on all of my settings videos i've ever made i've always had a higher I've, yeah i've always had a higher editing sensitivity than a higher building sensitivity because when it comes to editing you probably want to have a little bit higher and when it comes to building you really want to make sure when you're building that you're built you're able to build fast but also you don't want to be too sloppy especially when it comes to actual games if you're wasting materials by building really sloppy that can cost you really bad so you want to make sure your building sensitivity is high enough where you can you know box up very quickly but also at the same time you don't want it too high to the point where you're built you're being very sloppy and you're wasting 20 30 40 even 50 materials every single time that you're fighting that can be really really bad so i do like having a little bit on the lower end for a building and editing having kind of a little bit higher x and y and then i like a low ads sensitivity so that's pretty much the scope of the sensitivities that i have that i think are very good and that most of you guys should try out 
And I also want to show you guys the dead zones that I have. So I have 11% and 8%. I've had these dead zones for quite a while. But the ideal dead zones are going to be 5% and 5%. Like I said, the ideal dead zones is going to be as low as possible. But of course, if you have a lot of stick drift or an older controller, you're going to have to raise it. So I might actually be able, because the controller I have now is a little bit newer. So I might actually be able to play in a little bit lower look dead zone i might even lower it to maybe like an eight or nine percent we'll have to see depending on the amount of stick drift that i have but for my dead zone on the right analog stick i've been able to play consistently around an eight percent without being too crazy i really want to play in a five percent but i can't seem to have you know I, without having a crazy stick drift so obviously 11 and eight percent are very good but like i said i might actually lower my stick dead zone and for the foot controller, I do recommend having this off. For those of you guys that play exponential, I highly recommend having this off. And of course, with like the throttle and stuff, that literally makes no difference. But when you have it off, everything feels a lot more accurate because when you have foot control on, it gives you a little bit more of a linear feel. I think that's the best way to describe it. It makes everything feel a little bit more linear as opposed to everything feeling X. You know, you exponentially have like the boost, you have the slower input input movement that you can make and when you have foot controller off it gives you a lot more accuracy when you're coming to do a small analog stick movements which is extremely recommended for when you guys play exponential settings those are the gunfights are going to be focused you're going to be focusing a lot more on those long range fights so being as accurate as possible with your assault rifle is going to be extremely important and the two ways you're able to do that is by first having a lower ads sensitivity so on this settings i have 13 percent and on my linear settings, I had about 11%. But you can play in a little bit higher in exponential because you have a, you, you're, you're able to make those small analog stick adjustments a lot easier without as much trouble. So you can play on a little bit higher on exponential. So I have about a 13%. So you're playing, so playing on a little bit lower ADS sensitivity and as well turning off the foot controller dead zone. Those are the two main things that you want to change that is going to give you a strong boost from that far range accuracy, which I assume a lot of you guys are trying to go for it for those of you guys who play on exponential settings or maybe you just like the feel of it a lot better so those are the two things i would recommend and you can also move your look damping time if you want i have mine on zero but if you feel like your your long range is still struggling that is a setting you can also change it the look damping time is kind of like an extra dead zone so if you play on maybe like a 14 a look damping time or a 15 that is going to slow your movement down even more which can be very good for a lot of you guys who are looking for the best possible long range shots so you have foot control you have the look damping Damping time and the ADS sensitivity. So those are the main three components that you're going to be looking for for accuracy. And of course, when it comes to the higher X and Y sensitivity on this setting, it was 55%, which is good for flick shots. But if you do like a little bit lower, you can go lower. And I like a lower building and editing because when it comes to linear settings, everything feels way smoother when when it comes to the building and editing aspect. And when it comes to exponential, I do tend to play on a little bit lower of building and editing because I don't feel like I have as much control as I do on linear just on the way that the input feels i do feel like i have more control on aim but as far as building and editing i don't feel like i have as much control on exponential settings so i do like to play on the lower end for building and editing sensitivities so those are going to be my settings that i would recommend now kind of my updated settings for exponential so i currently still play on linear because as far as the building and editing just the lobbies i'm going into are extremely extremely sweaty so i feel like my building and editing need to catch up but i do think exponential is a very good option for a lot of you guys for a lot of you guys who maybe want to prioritize aiming because aiming is definitely much better on exponential as opposed to linear if i didn't have to worry about all the sweaty keyboard and mouse players that i go against every single fight in every single game i would definitely be on exponential settings so I felt like these settings were a good mix between being pretty quick on the X and Y. So for you high sensitivity players, I feel like this really caters to you guys. As well as having a little bit lower building and editing sensitivity for more control. And as well having a little bit lower aiming down sight sensitivity so you guys can hit a lot more of your shots from close range and from far range so that's why i chose the settings that i did in this video and with that being said that's gonna wrap it up for this video if you guys enjoyed make sure you guys do hit that like button make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel if you guys are new make sure you guys do turn on post notifications so you guys can see what every single time that i post a new video and as well i do live stream every single day on this channel i stream every day at about six o'clock eastern standard time so if you guys want to watch me play live, play some solos, definitely come by my live streams. They're a ton of fun. Like I said, I stream every single day on this channel. But with that being said, I appreciate you guys watching the video. And all right, guys, I'll see you next video.